Good morning. Welcome to Ireland. This is more of the Ireland that we were expecting when we came. If you're new around here, my name is Becky. This is Teddy and Travis is behind the camera. We're currently in Ireland and we will be visiting Ireland and the UK over the next few weeks. So come along with us on this adventure. Our first stop today is in the town of Cashel at the Rock of Cashel and we're inside this cathedral that replaced one that was here earlier but this one was actually replaced in 1235 so centuries old building that we're standing in. We did a little bit of a tour to get some of the history and now we're just checking it out. We just finished our tour and uh, the guide was telling us about all these crosses up here and actually there's still burying people to this date. There's eight more spots left up here and uh, there was one recently done four years ago. A new burial up top which is pretty interesting for a historic site. Just finished the Rock of Cashel and we're in the parking lot getting ready to head out for the rest of the day and see what comes. And the sun is shining. They Which say is... in Ireland you don't have to wait long if it's raining just wait a little bit and the sun will be back out and here it is. Lunchtime in the van making some buns up and the rain is back. It is pouring out. has been kind of the story of traveling since having Teddy. I had to do some realigning of my expectations today. So in my dream itinerary, I thought we might get up early from the campground we stayed at last night and drive to Cashel like we did. And I thought we would just be there for a short amount of time to check things out and then we would hop over to um, so a couple other cities, Cove and Kinsale, that are just, they just look like the most beautiful, like charming little seaside communities. Uh, lots of really cool colorful buildings and they're right on the coast and Kinsale is actually near the beginning of the Wild Atlantic Way so I thought it would be kind of cool to stop there. Anyways, as we were in Cashel, we realized it was already like 3.30 by the time we got back to the van. So our timing was a bit off today. So we decided just to come to our second spot for the night. And so now we are at the Blarney Caravan and Camper site. Uh, we booked most of our campgrounds online before coming just because I kind of wanted the peace of mind. Anyways, we are at Blarney. We didn't make it here in time to go and see the Blarney Castle, but we will probably do that first thing in the morning before we head out to our next destination. So I'll give you a little look around at what a camper van site looks like here in Ireland or what we've seen so far. And then I think we're gonna head into the town of Blarney and get a bite to eat. So 
So this is it. We've got, at this site, we have a gravel spot to park the van. We've got a little bit of grass beside us. We do have electric and water actually behind the van. And that's it. The site we were at last night actually was the, the pitch, as they call them here, was actually full grass. Uh, and yeah, not a whole lot else, but I guess we do have everything we need in the van. So yeah, it's everything we need is right here. So we've parked down a couple blocks from the main area of the downtown of Blarney and we are walking down. We're going to see what we can find, maybe something to eat. We made it down to the Bellarney Italian restaurant and we ended up getting um, kind of our own meal on this one. And Becky ended up with a carbonara and Teddy's got penne. Say good night, everyone. We're back at the camper and we're getting ready for bed. We'll see you in the morning. Bye bye. Good job. Good morning. We are all packed up from our campsite and we are at the Blarney Castle. So we've got an eight minute walk up the path and we should see another beautiful castle today. Let's go. are. This is the third structure built on this site in 1446 by Cormac McCarthy. like that. Oh yes. To the bottom. just finished kissing the stone of Blarney Castle. So believe it or not, it's actually supposed to have been come from the Holy Land and uh, brought here. It's uh, yeah something interesting, these two guys behind us to help you from falling. They wipe the stone, they lay you back. It's, uh, it's really cool. And there's all kinds of stories behind what it means to kiss the Blarney Stone, but the most popular one is that once you kiss it, you've got the gift of the gab. So I don't know what that's going to mean for Travis, because I think he might have already had it, but we'll see. <laughs> so even though it's off season, I think we're October 30th today, and it's a little bit drizzly, I'm still so happy that we're here today, because from videos I've seen, um, this place can be like 
a single file line all the way from the top to the bottom, sometimes 90, upwards of 90 minute wait to come in and kiss the stone and then you're just back to back with other people. So we feel like we essentially have it to ourselves. So it's a really nice perk of being here this time of year. Just walk into a castle. So what's in the myrtle hole, Becky? Oh, well, easy. Where the hole? So we did hear a few people while we were about to go in saying they didn't want to go up the stairs because they've seen castles before and they've been in a castle. But for us, our first real castle experience was really cool. I think we're glad we were in there. Yeah. guys we're just gonna end this video here after seeing Blarney Castle we're just in the car park now about to hop in the van so thank you so much for watching this video we will have lots more to come we're headed to Killarney National Park today and then we're going to be exploring the Dingle Peninsula tomorrow so I'm really excited for that so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of our videos thank you again for watching we'll see you next time